Hello friends, happy Friday and welcome to uh, Friday Night on Hong Kili, uh, Facebook Live Edition. Yeah, uh, happy Friday, good evening from Alaska, America, all places. And uh, yeah, let's go to the fifth uh, episode of this like uh, Biden-Trump debate commentary, okay? So it will be all over to uh, Daily Motion, of course, okay? Yeah. I just cannot get enough of this guys, okay, yeah, Biden and Trump, okay, it's hilarious. Maybe Americans made the right decision in 2020, okay, so that we get entertained. But I ran for U.S. president in 2020 as an independent, and I, I was running again 2024 as an uh, independent presidential candidate, okay? Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, this guy's so funny. But, of course, as a performer, comedian, and writer, yeah, I can entertain people too, yeah. Uh, Make people laugh. Yeah, yeah. But if I do, it will be intentional, artificial, somewhat, okay? So, because I'm more designed, okay? We have sometimes improvisation, because I'm trained for that. Yeah, as an actor, comedian, writer. But these people, they are not... It, 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 this is not artificial, this is real, okay? So we are basically laughing at them, okay, their mistakes, or the way they are, <laughs> okay, as opposed to my approach, like scripted comedy, like script, okay, but these people, they, they're not doing that, okay, so it's entertaining, okay, I cannot get enough, enough of these guys, okay, so yeah, let's go. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Yep. Let's see if you enjoy, okay? Yeah. Uh, Biden Trump debate episode five. Yep. Debate commentary episode five. Next 10 minutes, okay? Yeah. I mean, the footage, 10 minutes footage, we'll make commentary, okay? Yeah. Let's go is horrible, including weaponization, which I'm sure at some point you'll be talking about, where he goes after his political opponent because he can't beat him fair and square. You have 80 seconds left. My question was, what do you say to those voters who believe that you violated your constitutional oath through your actions and inaction on January 6, 2021, and worry that you'll do it again? Well, I didn't say that to anybody. I said peacefully and patriotically. And Nancy Pelosi, if you just watched the news from two days ago, on tape to her daughter, who is a documentary filmmaker, they say. But she's saying, oh, no, it's my responsibility. I was responsible for this because I offered her 10,000 soldiers or National Guard, and she turned them down. And the mayor of, in writing, by the way, the mayor, in writing, turned it down, the mayor of, of D.C. They turned it down. I offered 10,000 because I could see I had virtually nothing to do. They asked me to go make a speech. I could see what was happening. Everybody was saying they're going to be there on January 6th. They're going to be there. And I said, you know what? There's a lot of people coming. You could feel it. You could feel it too. And you could feel it. And I said, they ought to have some <laughs> National Guard or whatever. And I offered it to her. And she now admits that she turned it down. And it was the same day. Okay, so amazing reactions are by President Biden. He's being shocked by the degree of lie of Mr. Trump, okay. Classic. Nice. She was, I don't know, he can't be very happy with her daughter because it made her into a liar. She said, I take full responsibility for January 6th. Oh. President Biden? Look, he encouraged those folks to build the Capitol Hill, number one. I sat in the dining room off the Oval Office. He sat there for three hours. Three hours watching, begging, being begged by his vice president and a number of his colleagues on the Republican side as well to do something, to call for a stop, to end it. Instead, he talked, they talked about these people being patriots and, and, and great patrons of America. In fact, <laughs> he says he'll not forgive them for what they've done. You know, they've been convicted. He says he wants to commute their sentences and say that no. But he went to every single court in the nation. I don't know how many cases. Mm -hmm. scores of cases, including the Supreme Court, and they said, they said, no, no. Well, not if, oh, welcome, friends. Yeah, uh, Biden said that if 
Trump is convicted, then he will pardon January 6th people in prison. Well, he should have said, if Trump get elected, then he will pardon. Okay, so. Welcome, friends. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. Good evening. Yeah, welcome to the show. Yeah. This guy, this guy is responsible for doing what is being, that was done. He did do a damn thing. And these people should be in jail. And they should be the ones who are being held accountable. And he wants to let them all out. And now he says that he loses again, such a whiner that he is, that it could be a bloodbath. Thank you, President Biden. President Trump? What they've done to some people that are so innocent, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. What you have done, you've destroyed the lives of so many people. When they ripped down Portland, when they ripped down uh, many other cities, you go to Minnesota, Minneapolis, Michael, Michael. what they've done yeah. there, with the fires all over the city. If I didn't bring in the National Guard, that city would have been destroyed. When you look at all of the... They took over big chunks of Seattle. I was all set to bring in the National... I mean, he's talking about uh, the... Oh, welcome, friends. Yeah, welcome, welcome. So Mr. Trump is talking about the uh, George Floyd protest in Portland, Oregon. Uh, but it did not happen during Biden administration. It did happen in Trump administration, okay? Uh, to uh, correct the record, okay? Yeah. Welcome, friends. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, good evening. Happy Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue. Yep. So God, they heard that. They saw them coming and they left immediately. What he said about this whole subject is so off. Peacefully patriotic. One other thing. The unselect committee, which is basically two horrible Republicans that are all gone now out of office and Democrats, all Democrats, they destroyed and deleted all of the information they found because they found out we were right. We were right. And they deleted and destroyed all of the information. They should go to jail for that. If a Republican did that, they'd go to Thank jail. Thank you, President Trump. President Biden, I want to give you a minute. The only person on this stage is a convicted fellow, this man I'm looking at right now. And the fact of the matter is, he is a, he's, what he's telling you is simply not true. The fact is that there was no effort on his part to stop what was going on up in Capitol Hill. And all those people, every one of those who were convicted, deserves to be convicted. The idea that they didn't kill somebody just went in and broke down doors, broke the windows, occupied offices, turned over desks, turned over statues. The idea that those people are patriots? Come on. When I asked them the first two debates we had, the debates we had the first time around, I said, will you denounce the Proud Boy? He said, no, I'll tell them to stand by. The idea he's refusing to, well, will you denounce these guys? Will you denounce the people we're talking about now? Will you denounce the people who attacked that capital? What are you going to do? I'm going to uh, give you a, a, a minute, President Trump, for a follow-up question I have. Um, after a jury convicted you of 34 felonies last month, you said if re-elected, you would, quote, have every right to go after, unquote, your political opponents. You just talked about members of the select committee on January 6th going to jail. Your main political opponent is standing on stage with you tonight. Can you clarify exactly what it means about you feeling you have every right to go after your political opponents? Well, I said my retribution is going to be success. We're going to make this country successful again, because right now it's a failing nation. My retribution is going to be success. But when he talks about a convicted felon, his son is a convicted felon at a very high level. His son is convicted, going to be convicted probably numerous other times. Should have been convicted before, but his Justice Department let the statute of limitations lapse on the most important things. But he could be a convicted felon as soon as he gets out of office. Joe could be a convicted felon with all of the things that he's done. He's done horrible things. All of the death caused at the, the border, uh, telling the Ukrainian people that we're going to want a billion dollars or you change the prosecutor, otherwise you're not getting a billion dollars. If I ever said that, that's quid pro quo, that we're not going to do anything. We're not going to give you a billion dollars unless you change your prosecutor having to do with the son. This man is a criminal. This man, you're lucky. You're lucky. I did nothing wrong. We'd have a system that was rigged and disgusting. I did nothing wrong. Thank you, President Trump. President Biden, you have... Oh, beautiful reaction shot, right? Oh, this is amazing. This is classic. Beautiful. I love both of them, to be honest. I'm independent, okay? I love both of them. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, I'm glad that they both served at least once in U.S. presidency, okay? So, because they, 
very entertaining, okay, so, and I love being entertained, okay, so, okay, five minutes break, please, okay, thank you, and some vocal rest, I'm getting old too, okay, I'm 46, yeah, welcome friends, yeah, this is nice, right, yeah, five minutes break, please, thank you, oh yeah, mm-hmm, Alright friends, welcome back, we are back And uh Yeah, I mean, I'm independent But I'm kind of center right So policy wise Yeah, I tend to agree with uh, Republicans more than Democrats, okay, but uh, uh But I appreciate both parties As independent person, okay Yeah Okay, let's go, yeah Great reaction, Shah, right uh, President Biden, he's like, uh, I, I cannot believe what he's saying, what I'm hearing, okay? <laughs> Great reaction, sir. It's like Hollywood movie, right? But in reality, okay, so amazing. Let's go. Yeah. You have said, I'm coming right to you, sir. You, well, if you want to respond, go ahead. I'll give you a minute to respond. The idea that I did anything wrong relative to what you're talking about is outrageous. It's simply a lie, number one. Number two, the idea that you have a right to seek retribution against any American just because you're president is wrong. It's simply wrong. No president's ever spoken like that before. No president in our history has spoken like that before. Number three, the crimes that you are still charged with, and think of all the civil penalties you have. How many billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties for, for molesting a woman in public, for doing a whole range of things, of having sex with a porn star on the night while your wife was pregnant. I mean, what, what, what are you talking about? You, you have the morals of an alley cat. Give your sir. I didn't have sex with a porn star, number one. Number two, that was a case that was started and moved. They moved a high-ranking official, a DOJ, into the Manhattan DA's office to start that case. That case is going to be appealed and won. We had a very a terrible judge, a horrible judge, Democrat, the prosecutor were all high-ranking Democrats, appointed people, and the, both the civil and the criminal. He basically went after his political opponent because he thought it was going to damage me. But when the public found out about these cases, because they understand it better than he does, he has no idea what these cases are. But when, he, the, when they found out about these cases, you know what they did? My poll numbers went up way up. You know that because you're reporting it. 
And we took in more money in the last two weeks than we've ever taken in in the history of, of any campaign. I don't think any campaign has ever taken. Hundreds of millions of dollars came pouring in because the public knows it's a scam and it's a guy that's after his political opponent because he can't win fair and square. Thank you, President Trump. President Biden, you have said, quote, Donald Trump and his MAGA Republicans are determined to destroy American democracy. Do you believe that the tens of millions of Americans who are likely to vote for President Trump will be voting against American democracy? The more they know about what he's done, yes. The more they know about what he's done. And there's a lot more coming. He's got a lot of cases down the road coming around. He's got, he's got a whole range of issues he has to face. I don't know what the juries will do, but I do, I do know he has a real problem. And so the fact that, could you ever think you hear any president say that I'm going to seek retribution? You ever hear any president say that I thought Hitler had some good ideas? What got me involved to run the first place after my son had died, I decided in Iraq, because of Iraq, I said I wasn't going to run again until I saw what happened in Charlottesville, Virginia. People coming out of the woods carrying swastikas on torches, torches, and, and singing the same anti-Semitic bile they sang when back in Germany. And what did, and the young woman got killed. I spoke to the mother. And she they asked him, they said, what, what, what do you think of those people? The people who, the one who got killed, the one who tried to stop it, and the one who said, I think they're fine people on both sides. What American president would ever say, Nazis coming out of fields, carrying torches, singing the same anti-Semitic bile, carrying swastikas, were fine people. And this is the guy who says Hitler's done some good things. I'd like to know what they are. The good things Hitler's done, that's what he said. This guy has no sense of American democracy. President Trump. Jake, both of you know that, sir, has been totally wiped out because when you see the sentence, it said... Yeah, I was just in the volume, to be fair, because uh, Trump is kind of loud. He's three years younger than Biden. Biden is too soft spoken. Yeah, I'm just adjusting the volume to make, maintain the even fairness. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yep. Evenness of the volume. Okay. Yeah. And a hundred percent exoneration on this. So he just keeps it going. He says he ran because of Charlottesville. He didn't run because of Charlottesville. He ran because it was his last chance. It, it, he's not equipped to be president. You know it, and I know it. It's ridiculous. We have a debate. We're trying to justify his presidency. His presidency is, he's, without question, the worst president, the worst presidency in the history of our country. We shouldn't be having a debate about it. There's nothing to debate. He made up the Charlottesville story, and you'll see it's debunked all over the place. Every anchor, <laughs> has deb every reasonable anchor has debunked it. And just the other day it came out where it was fully debunked. It's a nonsense story. He knows that. And he didn't run because of Charlottesville. He used that as an excuse to run. President Biden. And debunked. It happened. All you have to do is listen to what was said at the time. And the idea that somehow that's the only reason I ran. I ran because I was worried a guy like this guy could get elected. If he thought they were good people coming out of that, all, that forest, carrying those, those woods, carrying those torches, then he didn't deserve to be president. Didn't deserve to be president at all. And the idea that he's talking about all this being fabricated, we saw with our own eyes. We saw what happened on January 6th. We saw the people breaking through the windows. We saw people occupying their, his own vice president. Look, there's a reason why 40 of his 44 top cabinet officers refused to endorse him this time. His vice president hasn't endorsed him this time. So why? Why? They know him well. They serve with him. Why are they not endorsing him? Thank you, President Biden. We're going to be right back with more. Okay. Some commentary there, okay? I, 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 media is kind of like, I think media has been very unfair of uh, President Biden's performance, okay? I think he did very well. He made some mistakes. Yeah, it was, Due to his old age, yeah, he's 81, okay. But this understandable and very well is expected, okay. So, but uh, in my opinion, I think Mr. Biden have good faculty in his brain, okay. <laughs> Maybe not always upstairs, but I think he did pretty well in this debate, okay. I think media is too unfairly harsh on him. On Biden, okay, so well, that's my opinion, okay. So, okay. 
But look, yeah, there's some good in Trump. Okay, he did some good things when he was president. Okay, so again, I'm independent. I'm fair and square, objective as an independent. Okay, so I see some good and bad in Republican Party and Democrat Party, both of them. Okay, so nobody's perfect. Okay, all right. So yeah, that's that, and then uh. We'll uh, stop this episode and I'll upload to Daily Motion, okay? Yeah, the uh, debate commentary uh, episode 5, okay? And then, uh, but nicely young, okay? What time is it? Maybe 8 p.m. in Alaska, okay? So, we'll check out some YouTube videos. Not politics, but uh, more entertainment, like movie clips, TV shows, clips, and Show stories, show films, and maybe music videos too, okay? Yeah, we worked. Now it's play time, okay? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for your service. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, we'll see you tomorrow, okay?